Yo, what's up guys, it's Blaze, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Hydreigon in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet VGC. So, starting off with Hydreigon, um, what I like about Hydreigon is he has a ton of potential moves that you can use. Um, and also, he's just one of the more powerful Pokemon in the VGC metagame currently, and he is being paired a lot with Garchomp, which is another really strong Dragon type. So... Starting off with this Hydreigon, this Hydreigon that I'm going to be showing you guys is just going to be a hyper offensive uh, Hydreigon. You just want to be doing the most damage. So the best two items to use is either Life Orb or Choice Specs. Once again, I prefer Life Orb um, because it doesn't lock you into the move. Although Choice Specs does give you a little bit more of a boost. Um, and Life Orb does have the downside of losing some of your health. But with the plethora of moves that Hydreigon can use... Uh, I think Life Orb is is better just so you can switch to different moves depending on the matchups you come across. Um, and then starting off with the ability, uh, we go with Levitate, which makes it immune to ground. Which also pairs with the Terra type Steel, which is also very good. Um, so that is something that is great. So now starting with the moves, um, starting off with the two stab moves, we got the Dark Pulse and the Draco Meteor. Um, Dark Pulse is just one of the best moves for Hydreigon. Um, Draco Meteor is really, really good, but of course, it does lower your special attack by two, which is something you don't really want to use. It's one of those things you use, you know, when you know that your Hydreigon is going to die. Um, and then we run Flash Cannon with the Steel Terror type. But like I said, there's a ton of different moves. I'm going to go over the potential moves that you could replace some of these with. But I think Flash Cannon is really good because it just. Um, counters fairies right hydreigon weak to fairies it counters it um, dark and dragon so it is four times weak to fairy so that's very very important and then for the last move is earth power um, there is like I said different moves you can run um, I think earth power is just a really great coverage move but potential moves that you can run um, first is fire you could run flamethrower um, which is really good uh, fighting you could run focus blast if you want to although that's something that i probably wouldn't use um heat wave is also a potential um fire type move that you could use that hits both of the opponents and then also it gets a support move which is tailwind so usually you're going to have another tailwind setter um preferably one that has priority but if you don't have any of those options on your team um, and you need a Tailwind Center on your team, Hydreigon does get Tailwind. So that is a very good option to run. Um, and then, of course, you could also just run Protect, which is very, very good. And then with the EV spread, we want 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, uh, 4 Special Defense, Modest Nature, which is going to boost our Special Attack, lower our Attack. Of course, we don't need our Attack. That's not important. And then with the 252 Speed uh, or Special Attack, we're going to be doing massive amount of damage pair that with the life orb and you know the stab bonuses that we get with a lot of our moves we are going to be an absolute crazy sweeper You're going to be doing a ton of damage with the hydreigon which is what he's used for um so yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video